Well, hello, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgo, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what comes out for you. This is going to be your love reading. Your second reading, I believe I'm going to be using some oracles, okay? And it's not going to be a romance oracle. It's just going to be a romance reading. It's just going to be whatever that comes out. It's going to be kind of like a let's chat, talk thing. Very encouraging. This is what I'm going to do for your second part. And it's going to talk about money and love, okay? But let's get to your love reading. Let's see what comes out here for you, Virgo. This is for Virgo. Okay, so two came out at, oh no, three came out at once. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to take it. So you have the, the two of wands, the ten of, two of wands, ten of wands, and the two of swords. We already know that you're going to be faced with needing to make a decision in the future. One second, Virgo. So you're going to be needing to make a decision in the future about something. But we saw the Ten of Wands, which talks about something feeling like it's been a burden or something is going to feel like a burden. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's making you um, go against your morals, okay? That type of thing. But we're going to go ahead and keep going. This is going to be for Virgo. Okay. So what came out? We got the star card here. Ooh, we got the six of cups. We got the page of swords and the ace of swords. Okay, so and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance. So Virgo, you've been very patient, okay? Um, the, the, the star card just in general to me is, you know, you're in a karmic type of situation. I see that with the six of, six of cups, okay? Very karmic, or you feel like you have some type of karmic tie to someone. It's just like, no matter what you do, maybe you feel like you can't let this person go, or you tried, and it just, you know, the, the, the feelings are still there, okay? But I do feel like you're trying to move on, and you're open to new relationships. You're open to new people, okay? Um, I do feel like you could be spying on someone or someone could be spying on you. There is going to be conversation or communication that's going to come through unexpected. It may not be from who you want, but there is going to be some type of communication. This is more so about clarity. Okay. Now that was a lot. I said a lot. And, you know, basically your read is in a karmic cycle. You are dealing with someone uh, or you will be again, you're dealing with someone who was, who's a past life partner or connection, okay? Not all, but some. Um, and here with the Page of Swords, I feel like there is this, maybe you're searching for something. You're maybe searching for some information. Maybe you need clarity when it comes down to someone, okay? Maybe you need answers and you will get it here with the Ace of Swords, okay? So I do see that. But I feel like you've been patient enough you know, patience is the worst thing for me. Comes out in Virgo's reading all the time. I think Virgos have been patient enough. Um, but I feel like with this card, this is talking about you maintaining balance in your life when you go through difficult circumstances and when you're dealing with people in relationships. Because even though there is a love, true love energy that's coming in, it, it may not be as smooth as you think, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep going and see what else comes out for you, Virgo. Let's see. This is for Virgo. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. My phone is ringing. Knight of Pentacles. Woo! Ace of Pentacles. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's get one more. Wow. And the Knight of Wands tried to come out. So... It looks like you are dealing with someone who's in and out and, and maybe this is the person who's going to give you clarity or you're going to cut this person away. That's just what it is. Um, you know, and this is future. This is future. Okay. The five of pentacles at the end, right after the ace of pentacles is letting me know that you feel that there's an opportunity that you have missed or someone feels like there was an opportunity that was missed. Okay. Okay. Um, and be careful about spending too much money. You know, you can have one, you can have money one minute and the next minute you don't have as much. Okay. Now this is not a, this is not a general reading at the moment, but I just have to tell you guys that cause you already know how I am. If I see it, I have to tell you. 
Now let's just start at the end here with the Seven of Pentacles. I just see that you're doing a whole lot of daydreaming. I feel like just in general, you cannot get over someone or you will be in this energy where you just feel like whoever it is that you're connecting with, it just feels different. It feels unreal. That is how you're feeling. Again, like we saw with the temperance card, we also see here with the Knight of Pentacles, you've been so patient waiting on your soulmate to come in here. You've been very patient. And if you're dealing with someone from a from this lifetime that's in the past, you've been waiting for them to come in. And maybe they've been very, 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 very slow about approaching you, you know, telling us, you know, wanting another opportunity with you, that type of thing. I do believe that this person miss you. I feel like you may miss each other. Um... But overall, like I said, there is going to be a tough beginning in love, and you know, because you have options and it's going to be up to you. Remember, we saw the two of swords. So it's going to be up to you with who and what you do when it comes down to a relationship. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. Don't get too comfortable when it comes down to a connection. If it doesn't seem right, if it doesn't feel right, you know, you may have to use that ace of swords and cut things away, but you will get closure and clarity uh, whatever that you need, you will get it. Let's go ahead. Let's get this star card. We're going to go ahead and clarify this here for you, Virgo. Star card for Virgo. Yeah, here with the chariot. So, Virgo, I do feel like you, like I said, holding on, okay? <laughs> holding on to um, someone that you feel is you know a soulmate i feel like it has ended ended and it may end uh, more than once you know how it's like an on and off again relationship it may be that type of thing uh, just be careful that it's not just sex only because you know the knight of wands come in for sex they get what they want and they leave right out but let's go ahead let's keep going let's get these six of cups oh my came out yeah. Mm, okay. So for some of you here with the six of cups, this person thinks very highly of you here with the Empress, Empress card. Um, you know, this has been a very tiring situation, a lot of wear and tear. I feel like you, this person missed you and they're very unfulfilled without you. Uh, but like I said, I just feel like more than anything, they know who you are as a person. They know what you want. And sometimes people are able to give that to you and some, some not. But I also see that this is someone different. I see that this is a real soulmate here. I feel like this is a true love situation only because of that Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom. So I really do feel like your soulmate, your real soulmate is coming. You may have to walk away from some things before that happened though. Let's go ahead. Let's get that page of swords. Yeah, Page of Swords. Look at this. So you got the Knight of Swords here. You got the Two of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So it may be hard to walk away. Some of you may be married or in a connection, okay? A long-term connection you could be. And it may be hard to walk away. Um, this is very interesting because I feel like someone is in a connection, whether it's you or your person, and someone is watching someone else being in a connection. It's like you know that they're in a connection with someone else. Okay. But this person keeps coming back in, and it's like some of you Virgos are accepting that. Okay. I always say that we're not victims, you know, um, if we know, we know. But I do feel like there is someone spying on your connection. When this person comes in, you could be spying on their connection, that type of thing. But there is a lot of looking and spying. Let's get the Ace of Swords. Oh, yes, clarity is coming here. Epiphany moment. I love it. So you're going to know exactly what you need to do. That was part of what we talked about with that Two of Swords, needing to make a decision. You're going to know exactly what you need to do, whether it's you or your person. I see a lot of happiness coming your way, though. Seven of Pentacles. Money is going to be really good. Okay, I just have to say it. But anyway, like I said, pondering over decision, pondering, you know, maybe feeling stuck, wanting to be in a committed relationship. Virgo, this is you. You're like very mature and you know what you want. It's that type of thing. But here you realize that, right? 
you know, even if this person, whoever this person is, even if it's a new person, they see that you're very valuable. But I feel like that's what you're going to have to figure out and find out in, in your soul that you deserve what you want. It's just that type of thing. Okay, let's get the Knight of Pentacles. Some get it, some don't. <laughs> So you're just tired of waiting, I'll tell you that much. You're tired of waiting. Your patience has been has been have been worn thin, as they say. You are tired of waiting. But it's coming, Virgo. It's coming. Let's get the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So someone is in a connection with in, in a and with someone from their past. That's what I'm saying here. Even though, you know, yeah, this just looks like someone like you, you want, you want a connection with someone, but they were dealing with some issues with someone from their past. Okay. Uh, with you, it may be, um, there may be people coming in, which I feel like you're going to have opportunities. Um, part of that Ace of Pentacles is another opportunity with someone else, but because you're so strongly, your emotions are so strong for someone in the past, you may not be ready to open up and be committed to someone new. Okay. That's what I'm saying. This could be you and your person. Okay. Let's get the five of Pentacles for Virgo. So yeah, we have the two of wands and the three of pentacles. I mean, the three of cups. So a lot. Of, look at this. Look at all of this five of pentacles. All of this missing energy. You you really feel this lack. Like there's this lack that you feel with someone not being in your life. I do feel like there is a third party. I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like someone is in a committed relationship. Some someone could be married. Um, Virgo. And part of that, like, yeah, exactly. This is what turned over. It was just like this. Okay. I feel like you're going to walk away from this because you are negotiating with your soul. Okay. And you know that this is not right for you. You don't want to be stuck in something or dealing with someone that's going to cause a lot of heartbreak. Um, and someone is definitely in a connection here. So, you know, even though you've been waiting here with the nine of wands and you're tired, your real person is coming. OK, there's really no need to be stuck. It's really not. Um, I do feel like this person keeps coming in and out or they message you and you get pulled right back into it. But, you know, you're always in this energy of lack. You're always in this energy of not having what you want. So, you know, if you're constantly in that energy then you may have to move on, okay? But that's, you know, that is what it is. You don't want to be codependent. Um, you know, this person is probably very good about winning your heart, but you just have to be smart about your decisions, okay? Two of swords. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Just look out for your part two. I will post that whatever day that I post this. All right, Virgo, have a good one.